so good morning to all of you uh, in this video i am going to discuss about anti tuberculosis agents in last couple of videos i have discussed already about isoniazid rifampicin ethambutol is also covered in the last video and in this video i am going to discuss about two other drugs the first line drugs which are used in the treatment of tuberculosis that is pyrazinamide and streptomycin these two drugs so first is pyrazinamide 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 is a uh, bactericidal agents cidal agents it kills a bacteria it's mention uh, included in the who essential list of medicines essential who essential list of medicines it's included it is not used alone and always recommended to use in combinations to minimize the chances of resistance uh, other special thing about this drug is it is a pro drug so it's activated inside the mycobacterium so it's so that's why it's useful to kill intracellular mycobacterium right so mechanism of actions of pyrazinamide how it shows the uh, cidal actions as i told you it's a pro drug pyrazinamide it converted inside the mycobacteria into a active form and active form of pyrazinamide is pyrazinoic acid this is the active form and in acidic bh this drug accumulate inside the bacillus inside bacillus it accumulates and increase concentrations of pyrazinoic acid inside the mycobacteria inhibit the fatty acid synthesis that is the enzymes which is fas uh, which is uh, helpful in the synthesis of fatty acid so this increased concentration of pyrazinoic acid active form of pyrazinamide inhibit this enzyme so fatty acid will not synthesize another it interferes or disrupt the disrupt membrane potential of mycobacteria membrane potentials and depletes depletions of energy will happens depletions of energy and ultimately do the killing of the intracellular mycobacterium various adr associated with this drug are uh, hepatic dysfunctions hepatic dysfunctions porphyria porphyria photosens photosensitive reactions loss of appetite so these are the various added uh, adrs which are associated with pyrazinamide so another drug so this is used as a first line agent is streptomycin 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 as i have discussed in amino glycosides it's a amino glycosides amino glycoside used as a first line agents its source is streptomyces streptomyces griseus around 1943 it's discovered and it is effective against extracellular mycobacterium extracellular mycobacterium or other bacteria also it's a extracellular actions it is available as a im injection intramuscular injections not used orally mechanism of action as i described in amino glycoside lectures it interfere with protein synthesis interfere with protein synthesis right it interfere with 30s ribosomal subunits and ultimately results in misreading of messenger rna misreading of messenger rna protein will not synthesize it's also included in who essential list of medicine 
the major uh, limitations to use as antibiotic aminoglycoside as i told in that video also it's leads to nephro toxicity and autotoxicity these are the major toxicities which are associated with aminoglycoside another aminoglycosides uh, also like amycosin also used in the treatment of tuberculosis they are used as a second line agent so this is all about the first line agents in the uh, used in the treatment of tuberculosis i have already covered isoniazid first one diphampicin ethambutol pyrazinamide streptomycin so this is all about first line uh, anti tuberculosis agents in next video i will discuss about second line agents in the treatment of tuberculosis thank you